Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we're gonna discuss about the automatic motorcycles. Are they the future or they are just a trend? Are they safer? Are they only for the beginners or for the masses? Are they more reliable on a long term? Are they more efficient? Let's find out together. But first let's get back in the history in the 70s First it was Honda uh, as a pioneer in developing these automatic motorcycles. First it was a CM400A and then in the 1976 up to 1978 it was a CB750A Honda Matic which had two speeds, clutchless motorcycle and a torque converter replaced the clutch. You had to change with a gear shifter between two speeds and this was one of the first automatic motorcycles. Uh, nowadays you will find a lot of um, automatic motorcycles. Um, first it's Honda City X700N. You have the DCT transmission also in Africa Twin NC750X. Also you have the Honda NM4, Honda Valtus. You have also the Honda Cross Tourer. You have uh, April Yamana 850, which has a continuously variable transmission or CVT. And Honda also in 2009 released the Honda DN01, which has this uh, human friendly transmission, so called HFT. Also Husvarna, Husvarna had the Husvarna Motocross 420. Moto Guzzi also had the 1000cc motorcycle, which was automatic. And also uh, next year we heard some rumors that Suzuki will release an automatic motorcycle. When we compare the automatic motorcycle transmission with a car automatic transmission, we have to mention that in the 40s, the Hydromatic was the first mass-produced fully automatic transmission developed for passenger automobile use. Now let's see how this automatic transmission really works. What are the advantages or disadvantages by using this transmission on a motorcycle? We're gonna test the DCT transmission from Honda NC750X. We're gonna test how fast it is. Uh, there are three drive modes. First, we're gonna test the drive mode, then the Sport 3 mode, and third, we're gonna test the manual mode. So, let's see which one is the fastest. Come on, drive mode, show me what you got. It's your turn, sport free mode. What about you, manual mode? Now let's see how the dual clutch transmission is working. First we have to see the drive mode. In the drive mode the gears are changed around 2000 RPMs. Anytime you can manually upshift and downshift from the left buttons and uh, this gives you also uh, freedom to change the gears whatever you want. The gearbox reacts also on how much and how fast you twist the throttle. The, the fastest you twist the throttle the higher you, you reach the RPMs so if you want to take off uh, car then you twist harder and then you switch at 6000 6500 rpm so the gearbox is clever from this point of view 
in the sport mode we have sport 1 sport 2 and sport 3 and here we're gonna change the gears from starting from 2500 rpms then 3000 3500 and in sport 3 mode you're gonna change over 4500 rpms you have also the manual option when you can change by yourself the gears although the downshifting it's uh, done automatically if you don't change nothing if you don't press nothing then downshifting it's done automatically we have seen that this manual mode is the fastest way to drive with this motorcycle so I highly recommend it also in the city you can use it because you travel at low speeds until 50 60 kilometers per hour and uh, normally the manual mode helps you a lot and you can only use the first the second and the third gear normally in the city so the manual mode I highly recommend it and you can also be fuel efficient with this uh, mode and the last option we have with the DCT transmission it's to put your personal settings when it comes to gear shifting from the dashboard on the computer dashboard you can put your settings and you can um, you can put the settings from 4500 rpms you can put whatever you want the gears to be changing so you can start up to 4500 and you can put for example you can put uh, the gears to be changed at 6000 6500 rpms it's your it's up to your uh, own preferences back to our questions from the beginning i think the producers should seriously think to implement this automatic option for all their motorcycles when you think about automatic uh, they are perfect when you want to use it on every day on long trips uh, for commuting and especially for city driving you can focus more on the road driving and enjoy driving on a long trips uh, they have proven their fuel efficiency um, if you say this doesn't give you the same feeling as a manual transmission you should test it before and I have seen people tested it and uh, they were really surprised to see how easy it is to drive such an automatic motorcycle and it's still fun okay guys so let me know what you think about the automatic motorcycles in the comment section do you think they are the future or how do you see them don't forget to subscribe click the bell button and see you next time